of the unintended consequences created by the Supreme Court's overturning of Roe v. Wade and the move by politically conservative states to enact abortion bans and other severe restrictions. CNN's Elizabeth Cohen introduces us to a couple now that was forced to make some wrenching choices and now have become vocal supporters of abortion rights. Last spring, Jill Hartle took a pregnancy test and was thrilled to find out she was expecting. With a little girl, she and her husband, Matt, named Ivy Grace. Their mama and papa bear instincts kicking in right away. And I immediately felt like a dad and a father. My whole goal now is to protect my family. And Matt would need to protect them. At an ultrasound, when Jill was four months pregnant... Our doctor came in the room, and immediately you knew that something was wrong, and she said her heart isn't what we want it to look like. That ultrasound, and another a month later, found Ivy Grace had a severe and devastating heart defect. South Carolina law gave the Hartles two choices. Carry Ivy Grace to term, and she would die shortly after birth, or subject her to multiple extensive open-heart surgeries, which she might not survive. Jill is a hairdresser in former Ms. South Carolina. Matt, a brewer. They were religious Republicans in a red state. I grew up in a very Christian conservative household. I'm a very faithful woman. Like many parents facing this severe and devastating diagnosis, the Hartles opted to terminate the pregnancy. The best option to protect our daughter from pain and suffering was to send her to heaven. But abortion was not an option in South Carolina. They found a clinic out of state, but it had a two-week wait due to an influx of women like Jill. Those two weeks were probably the most torturous two weeks of my entire life. But it was logistically nightmare trying to make this happen, figure out how to set this up. All while you're grieving the loss of your child. Now they've started the Ivy Grace Project to educate the public and policymakers about fetal anomalies. Often they can't be detected until four or five months into a pregnancy when it's too late in states like South Carolina to have an abortion. It's not fair for the government to tell you what you should or should not do. CNN reached out to the primary Senate sponsor of the state's most recent abortion law. State Senator Larry Groom said, I regret to hear about the Hartle family and of their baby with a heart defect. However, I remain committed to protecting the lives of children from those who would choose to end those lives. As the holidays approach, so does the day their daughter would have been born. The 25th is Christmas. Jill's birthday is the 26th, and the due date was the 27th. We just don't want another family to have to experience the pain that we've had to experience. Now, the Hartles say that they don't blame their doctors in South Carolina for not performing the termination. They say they know that the laws were changing quickly last summer and their doctors could conceivably have faced heavy fines. They could have faced prison time, so they don't blame them. The couple says they just want South Carolina legislators to know that many conservative Christians like themselves do not support these harsh abortion bans. Jake? All right, Elizabeth Cohen with a... Sad and horrifying story. Elizabeth, thank you so much for that.